Wind Chaser Farm. Dang, this is beautiful. Now, this isn't going to be anything crazy. It's not going to be a crazy video. We're just going to be doing a map tour of this. Now, I have barely drove around the map. I want to be shocked, and I want my reactions to be in the video when I see stuff. I don't want to know where everything is and what all features this map has. So, I didn't even read the description. I barely drove across the map. I only drove across the map to get the truck here. And this is the truck we're going to be taking the 48 Ford F1 service truck, which just, I was like, you know what? I gotta have a, I gotta have a fancy truck because we're going to be driving around truck all day while we show you this map. Now, uh, before we get into it, video is sponsored by G portal. If you guys want a dedicated server, check them out. I have a link down below. Like when we do our tournament, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a server from them and it'll be up 24 seven. And then if Mr. TV wants to get on while nobody else is on, he can jump on. Nobody has to host the server on their computer. Check out G portal down below. I need a map for a farming tournament and I've been looking forever and this just may be the map. I've pulled up the field, the, the field view, crazy big map of it, the mega map, and it has potential. It is a humongous map. Like I can get this, we could probably do a farming tournament on this map. Now it's whether or not you guys think it'd be good and whether or not I think it'll be good. Now I think this map is from North West Wisconsin. So as we go into the shed, you can't open, or this is kind of like, I don't know. For every acreage, they have kind of like a toy shed. This isn't obviously a machinery shed. It's it's almost like, you know, you store your, your camper and your toys and your lawnmower and stuff in the shed. And maybe it's kind of it's kind of machinery, I guess. It's a fairly big shed. A little forklift, a little welder. One thing is there's a welding class at my college, and I really want to take it because I've never experienced it at all. And I think it'd be something that's really good to experience. And I think these should open too. Yep, both of these open. Perfect. So here's the main acreage little little shed we got a fuel barrel right here i don't know if it's diesel it, i guess it doesn't matter it's fuel farm sim there is no diesel or gas it's just it's fuel is what it is now here's the bin setup this looks okay this is what i'm liking so we actually have a dryer here we have a what is this for what does this bin do up here I'm trying to figure this out now a lot of you guys probably know and i don't just because i haven't been around bin, bin setups that much but why is this bin just sitting up here like there's no arm going into the bin at all, like to fill the this this bin up here. This must be for decorations. I'm assuming this is for No, but it's how you load it. What? Huh. I wonder how that I because this is how you load your semis, I think, unless unless we have augers on the other side. No, so that's how you load your semis, but yet there's no arm going there's no there's no pipe going to the bin to fill that bin to load your semi. I'm assuming that's how, how they get loaded from the top right there and you pull in. Okay, so we don't, I don't think we start with any grain. Oh my gosh, dude. What's really cool, and this would be perfect for a farming tournament, is we have so many spots to sell to. Budweiser, you can sell wheat and barley to Budweiser uh, to make some beer. That's pretty cool. And so you got uh, Conagra? Conagra? You got a co-op down here. Hanson Feed Mill. Lake something. Uh, oil crushing plant. Okay, so we have a lot, but let's go corn. Say, so we're if we're if we're going corn, how many options do we have available? One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. Okay, so we have six options available. That's what I like to see. I don't want to see one. I like to see six options. It just like like when we do our farming tournaments, I want to run it like an economy, and having a lot of different options are great. Now there are so many other farms, so I'm gonna get ahead to other farms. The farms are neat. Oh wait, one other thing. We got this huge shed here. Now this is a gravel road. So this is a public, I'm pretty sure this is a public gravel road here. And then we have our equipment shed over here, which is basically that same shed color and everything. I, will, I love how they have matching colors on sheds. Just like this, this brownish, brownish tannish. Oh, okay. And it's got the folding door. And then the, hopefully both of these open. Yep. Both of these open. So this is going to work good. But no, it's really scenic through here. As you work through here, you got the trees. You hear the birds chirping like crazy throughout there. So here, I I don't think that's a farm. Maybe it's a farm. I think this is a plant. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a plant. And this is where you're going to sell some of your grain. So here, I'm going to go back down this way because I want to hit the first, the first plants to the south and then work my way up north. Even though we're heading south right now. So that's, and I got to go over these quick because this is going to be a crazy long video. So this is train station overflow right to our left here. Or no, trading station and then train station overflows back there. So this is where you can sell a lot of grain. And as far as prices go, this might be the highest priced. Uh, I'm just going based solely based off corn. Train station. Now nah, it just it fits in well. It's actually it's fairly high priced compared to some of the other ones. 
So this to our right right here is sugar beet plant, which I don't know if, if anybody will be planting sugar beets, but there's a sugar beet plant. And then as we work our way down here, this is Conagra. Oh shoot, I almost got taken out by the train. And now I don't know what Conagra does at, at all, but obviously they take, uh, they'll take your grain through here. And then Con does Conagra have the highest price? Yeah, right now, Con oh no, no they don't. Train Station Overflow has the highest price at 222. But Conagra, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. I, I really do apologize. Um, but these guys have the second best price as of right now. Now, obviously, once you go sell your grain, price is definitely going to go down. And this is on the south side of the map. So when you're looking at a farm, you probably want to buy the farm that's pretty close to these high-priced high uh, elevators. Now, there is Hanson Feed Mail down here. I'm going to go explore this. But right now, my thoughts so far, I shouldn't... Actually, I'm not going to give my thoughts on, on whether it'd be a good map or not for... I think it'd be... Okay, to be honest, I think it'd be the best map for the tournament. I don't think it would be that good a map for me to play single player on. But I think this would be a perfect map to play multiplayer on. So, the old feed mail. So, you just dump your grain in right there. Then you go... Sorry, I'm coming across the lawn. And then there you go. You got your grain there. Now, I think there's a farm down here yet. Nah, the only way to get to it is through the Hanson feed mill over there. But look, we kind of got seasons. We got some fall leaves on the trees. Dude, it looks... <laughs> this one, Dude, I, I'm so pumped for seasons to come out if it ever comes out. Like, it's not out yet, and I don't know if it's being worked on or anything, but man, it does come out. Okay, so we gotta go over there. There's a farm somewhere over there, and I gotta figure out how to get there. See, it would really suck living at this farm. So there's a farm right here. The only way to get there is work your way all the way up here, over here, and then you have your own little private road all the way down through here. There's no road cutting through here, but I am gonna just cut the video and cut through here quick to just show you guys this farm. Shoot! Oh, dude. Oh, my gosh, dude. Oh, my gosh. How ironic. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that on purpose. I said I was cutting through that grass over there. I'm just like, yeah, I'm going to just cheat and cut through this grass. Anyways, I was coming flying through here. Everything looks good. You're just cutting through a forest, right? And you think there's open flat land like pasture land out here. And then, boom, it's a it's a pond of crap, dude. Oh, my gosh. It's a slurry pond or slurry area through here. Oh, dude, that was horrible. <laughs> Oh, how, oh my gosh. Okay, so I got to pull the F1 out of here. Dude, there is just crap spreading in there. This is... Oh. <laughs> that was just... It was so funny. It was just like this open area, and I honestly didn't see it at all. Okay, so there's your slurry loadout point. I don't know if this is manure or silage. I'm assuming silage to the right. Now, what type of farm is this? I'm assuming it's a dairy farm. No, I think it might be a hog barn. Yeah, this is a this is a hog farm. This is definitely a hog farm. Pig enclosure. So this is your pig enclosure. So if you want, oh, opens up. Now I don't know. I wonder if pigs will eventually come in here. That'd be kind of cool if Robert Cook owns this place, owned by Robert Cook. That'd be cool if pigs like actually started moving when you bought them. But this is your pig farm. So anybody wants to do pigs, here's your farm. Now this must. Be, I'm assuming this is manure right here. But no, this is pretty cool. And then you got, I don't know what this, uh, maybe this is manure loadout. This is some type of feed. And then you got your shed up here. Now does this close? It doesn't. So this is always going to be open. It'd be cool if the doors kind of open and closed here, but this is basically your big equipment storage shed. I'm this farm. Oh, another one. There's another shed here too. I love how they have the smoke coming out. I don't know what it is, but it just like, it makes you feel like it's, it's more real, I guess. It's cool. So here's another smaller equipment shed. This is this is neat. Every shed has its own, how do I describe this? Every shed has its own vibe to it. Like this is more, this isn't the cleanest farm. You know, the first farm I was at was a lot more cleaner farm. Like, especially when you went in the sheds, the sheds just look nicer. They weren't plain white. They didn't have this, not that, not that this is junk. They didn't have a lot of stuff on them. But now this farm is like, this is a, this is a, in, this is a farm that's working. It's, you know, it's a livestock farm. It's got a whole different vibe to it. 
I like it. It's not like crazy, crazy clean, the sleekest farm you can have, you know. Not that farmers go for sleekness, but it, it I like it. I like it. I, hopefully, we get more farms that are just different. As If we have like a ton of different farms, that's just, it's just what makes a great map, and especially for a farming tournament. It'll make a great farming tournament map. So, so far, I'm liking this. You got your fuel barrel. Oh, and we have more down here. Okay, is this a cow-calf operation? Oh, I thought those were calves for a little bit, for a second. So there's your house. Your house isn't crazy. It's nice. It's a ranch. But uh, it's not crazy, crazy fancy like the other one. Okay, and then you got a really crappy house here. Love it. I love it. So eventually, once we do the farming tournament, how they go? If you guys haven't seen FS17, we eventually will have auctions. It will literally line up. I love the auctions. Some people hate them because they go forever, but we'll literally line up 200 pieces of equipment, and we'll be there will be five or six different teams, and we'll be bidding on the equipment. And like you know, stuff gets intense, stuff gets funny, and then we eventually bid on land, bid on farms. It's uh, it's it's fun. Okay, so here we got our cattle. So this is a whole different farm. I'm yes, this is a whole different farm than the pig farm. So somebody's gonna be neighbors. Does this open? This does not open. So that, that that isn't usable as far as equipment storage. I don't know if you're gonna have much equipment storage on this. Usually what happens is people buy a couple different farms. One person will buy like two different farms. So I'm assuming one person will buy the pig farm and they'll just own this. But we also have to can you separate them though? No. See? Whoever buys this is gonna buy this whole thing right here. Yep, that's what's going to happen. You're going to have to buy this whole thing. So I'm going to move on. It doesn't look like there's much actual usable stuff. I don't know if these bins are usable or not. I don't think they are, but they could be. They could be. I could be wrong. So we're going to take the F1, keep rolling on down the road. So who's ever buying this is going to buy all three of these like little fa these these farms, I guess. Because what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to auction this off. By sections, so you're gonna everybody's gonna be buying all these sections. Somebody's gonna have to buy this whole thing, you know. You're gonna oh you can't oh you can't you can so you can't buy these areas. But yeah, there's gonna be a lot of different sections. This will be this will be really fun. And FS18 is just it's so much better designed for tournaments too. The design of FS19 with everybody being able to own their own land and you having multiple accounts on here. I guess I'm not in multiplayer right now, but you can have. Uh, you can have multiple farms, you know, make up your farm names and then have separate accounts. It's just, it's made for it almost. So here's our next, this is a part of all these three farms right in a row down this, down this road. Storage. You have the Quonset right there. And then you have bins over here. That's the first Quonset we've seen. And there, there's probably going to be more. Now, I'm assuming these bins are usable. Okay, I thought, sorry, I thought this was like a farm. I thought there was going to be a house in this in this area too, but there's not. The houses are down there. This is, I like it, I like it though. It's like, it's kind of weird. You got all your bins right here. You keep going down the road. You got your cattle over there. You keep going down the road. You got your pigs over there and it's all one farm. Okay, I really need to keep moving because if you look at the map, we've covered the southeast corner just, and oh my gosh, I got to keep moving a lot faster. If I want to cover all these farms. Now right here's train station overflow. I don't know. I think you unload. Yep, you unload right right back there. And then are we coming up? I think this might be a different farm. I'm pretty sure this is another farm. Or maybe it's just No, this is just bins. It looks like it's just bins right here. Which is kind of cool. They're all unique. It almost we've got some silos there too for for silage, I guess. That'll work good. And you they're actually usable. You can tell they're usable there. Now here's a farm. Oh, there's a couple farms along here. They're almost like little acreages, actually. Yeah, there are little acreages through here. Watch, do these sheds work? Because these will be usable. People want to store their equipment. Uh, oh, wait. Here we go. I thought that was... Uh, okay, you can't open the door on these. These aren't usable. That's cool, though. I, I like how they're still here, though. So I'm assuming none of these will be usable down here. They're just little houses with one with one uh, one average or, or small shed on it. Now, here's another lake. I don't know, I would consider this this one a lake. It's not even the lake on the map. The lake on the map is in the northeast corner. Yeah, this isn't even the lake. There's kind of a lot of water on this map. Interesting. Dude, I totally drove by this farm. I was so close to driving by this farm. So here's the other farm. I gotta get through these quick though. 
Uh, so we got a shed right there. I want to make sure they're usable, though. I'm assuming this is for sure usable. Let me just open a door. Yep, it's usable. But that's actually let's check inside quick. Okay, yeah, it's just it's on it's just for it's just for small tractors and cars. Oh, okay, this is big area through here. You got your bins. Now I can just tell that shed that shed's usable. Silage over there. Oh, is this the dairy operation? I think this might be the dairy operation here. You got other kind of it's not any equipment storage. This is mainly feed storage, it looks like, through here. MW Farms. So this one is... Let me zoom in here. This is cows. You have cows and pigs on this farm. So there's going to be a lot of livestock going on here. You can open this. Now, I wonder if cows are going to be animated when you purchase them through here. Oh, there's so many different gates. Got to open there. So this could be a calf operation. Look, there's calves there. Kind of cool. And then the pigs are just down through here. So here's the pigs. It looks like they pretty much use the exact same buildings on every one. The pig and cow buildings are pretty much the same. Here's Midwest Machinery. This is where you're going to purchase your equipment. And it's 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 on the northern edge of the map. Northern, northern-ish. Northern central part of the map. We've got a gas station. BP. And then this is the main town. So there's another plant. I think that's just the... Oh, it's just CPS right there. And then you got a Burger King. You got Applebee's. So this is the main, this is the main road. This is the main road to the town. Actually, this isn't even the main road. The main road's over to the left right there. Tractor supply. Oh, what do you buy there? You got some graders out front. Farmers co-op. I love, the, I love the fact that there's a lot of places to sell grain here. Not just one. This is where you buy your livestock. <laughs> this is pretty cool. It's almost, it seems like Mills County kind of. You guys remember Mills County from FS17. Uh, sheep, somewhere over to the left. But here's part of the lake, it looks like. There's part of the lake, and it, I think the lake runs all the way up to the northeast edge of the map. There's a school there. <laughs> this is cool. So there's a couple other farms to the northwest edge of the map. There you go, check out. And I probably missed a couple of farms, to be honest. There's a lot of farms here out here. Like here. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be tabbing to the farms guys because that way we can get to them a lot quicker. So I looked at the map and I was like, oh okay, this there must be a farm here because there's definitely a gas station here. I was like, it's probably just a fuel barrel. It's a farm. It's actually a gas station out in the middle of nowhere. So we got a gas station right here. It's it's kind of nice though having the gas stations all around. This was what was this? This was a farm. I didn't cover this farm at all. So if you guys want to see what this farm is, it's by field 15. I yeah I didn't cover this one. It's more of just Quonset, shed. I don't know where the house is. Oh, there's some silos over there. The house must be... Assume it's kind of down there. So here's Budweiser. Budweiser. And you can actually sell grain to them. I don't know. Barley, canola. I don't know. I think they use barley and beer. Pretty sure. Maybe not, though. But here's the Budweiser plant. Which you, I love how you can actually sell grain to Budweiser. And then, ooh, okay, so this is going to be, well, first of all, let me see this. So this is a sell point for silage, which is kind of cool through here. Okay, like this is going to be perfect. I got to go with this one for the tournament. Um, gas station over here. I'm assuming this is a farm or this is just going to be a huge, yeah, this is just going to be a huge operation uh, pig farm. There's four different pig enclosures back here. What's kind of cool is we're really going to be able to attack the livestock sector. Usually, I think everybody will be able to do livestock if they want to. And I think maybe we should make people do livestock. It would just be a lot more fun if people did livestock. I guess it's kind of like the government controlling farmers telling them what to do. But uh, maybe I guess if people want to just do grain, they can do grain. But this is all pigs back here. You could have a huge pig operation going. Oh, wait, no. Never mind. Cows. So cow operation going back here. I don't know how much how much each pin each uh, pen holds, but this could be a huge operation for somebody. I cannot tell what farm this is. I can't read that. What the heck? Something. I think that's a W. Something farm established 2010. But you got the house up there. You got a big shed. This is kind of a more clean farm. You got a grain 
Uh, you got all your grain bins back here. Your fuel barrel. I wonder if there's another shed to this. There is. There's another shed back here. Oh, there's another shed back here. And I don't know what that is. Those augers there. They obviously, you, I don't, you can't move those augers around. I thought that was a loading out point for something. Okay, you got a lot of equipment storage throughout here. This looks like it's just a grain farm though. And this is in the northwest edge of the map right here. So you'd have some, you'd have some pretty big fields over here. Now, southwest gets smaller fields. To the east, it's some fairly big fields out, out there too. I don't know where I'd want to go. It looks like it's fairly hilly out here. There's, and there's probably a couple more farms I've been missing through here. So I'm, I'm thinking there's five, five to seven farms, probably. Five to seven farms, I'm guessing, throughout here. It depends what you want to call a farm. You could probably use some of this stuff. Oh, this was the same shed that was uh, on our first farm we were looking at. You got some bale storage back here. Now I'm going to, oh, another house over there. Is that another farm over there? Might be another farm. There's just houses like all over the place. It's kind of cool. So this is going to be the end of the map tour. I tried to cover as much as possible. I do think this is going to be our go-to map for the tournament, which will be coming probably in a month, early May. Got some other things coming out early May too. But uh, the tournament, I think this is going to be the go-to map. Uh, unless a crazy good map comes out in between this time. I think this is a perfect map to go with. This is a map I've always wanted to play when I was a kid in FS15. It was like always private. And finally it's public. Somebody converted it. Or I guess maybe it was an FS17. I, I never played an FS17. But now we can finally play this map. So thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the video hit that like button. Tomorrow we'll probably be back with some Rolling Go Customs. Thanks for watching guys.